morning, friends and family. Marvin King here, Bowie Kettlebell Club. It's uh, 2019. It's 61 degrees in Maryland. For all you folks who got that cold weather, I'm feeling for you. But I'm excited to come out here and introduce the new year to swinging a few kettlebells and just uh, making sure this year is going to be as awesome as ever. Okay, guys, if you want to, grab a kettlebell and come along with me. Back. Marvin King here, Bowie Kettlebell Club. And I'm going to go over the dead swing. Now you can look at some of the previous videos on how to warm up, joint mobility, and strength stretching prior to getting into the techniques of the day. But let's go over the dead swing, which is one of the first kettlebell lifts in learning how to hinge and how to pop the hip forward for the two-arm swing. Now I'm going to go through it, and of course, a video can only give you so much instruction. Uh, look for a qualified RKC or come to a Bowie Kettlebell Club class to get the fine details. I'll try to explain what I can across the video, but uh, students of mine who have worked with me in the past or now in the present understand that there are so many subtleties to kettlebell lifting that a video can only touch on so much. So with that in mind, do the best you can. The important part here is to hinge. This hinging motion, when you sit back, sometimes lost, not properly understood. Many people do this first, which is a no-no, okay? Hinge, yes, hinge. I'm doing the sign language in case you can't hear the video, okay? Hinge, hinge. Hips head. You start by putting the hands here and shooting the hips back. Okay? From there, kettlebell is slightly in front of you, 8 to 10 to 12 inches based on your height and arm length. Hips forward, hinge, reach. Okay, this is the starting position. Neutral spine, sitting back with the hips. And that's it, okay? Again, sit back. The weight distribution kind of transfers through the heels as you move the kettlebell off center. All right, move the kettlebell off center this way. Sit back. From here, you hike it back. Pop the hips forward. Put it back in a resting spot. Hike. 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 And step away. I'm going to refer to the hike as the back pass or uh, just hike kettlebell hike or hike pass it's all the same thing you hike it back like the football like you're like you're the center on a football team hiking it back to the quarterback so the application of the kettlebell two-arm swing has so many uh, mixes with so many things and applies to so many movements in life I always explain that this position is a very natural position for taking action or prior to doing something of importance and going forward in an action movement. As far as jumping off of a uh, diving board and swimming or playing defense in basketball, you sit, okay? Playing defense or sitting back in martial arts. This application moves the hips in a way that is important to all athletics. Now if you're just moving, it's also important as you move with your hips, stretching your hip flexors, okay? So your hips should move in tune with the body and not being separated. Through kettlebell lifting, we teach the body to work as one. Okay, back to the dead swing again. 
The size seems to work best for this uh, teaching method. I'm just going to do a couple. I'm going to walk through the mechanics. Hinge, reach, height. 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 Pop the hips. Height. 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 One more. Height. Okay, this movement should be glutes and pulling up those quadriceps and kneecaps to lock out in the two-hand swing position. The hips pop forward this way, kettlebell floats, comes back to about this position, and then you hike back, okay? Here, comes down, And then, sit those hips back. That way it takes the pressure away from the lower back. Let's do a couple of hike passes from, or death swings from the front. Sometimes a little harder playing, but depending on where you are with your athletics, you may pick this, pick this up a little better. Hinge. Right? Notice the arms against the inside of the thighs. Reach. Hike. 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 And hike. Stand up and step away. Okay, there you have it. The kettlebell dead swing and hike pass. It's a great way to start for doing a two-arm swings. And another way to uh, just work on that hinge and understand the importance of keeping that pressure off the lower back and keeping it into the glutes and quads, pushing those feet into the ground. Those are all important concepts in athletics, combat fighting, martial arts, jiu-jitsu, MMA. All use that application. Whether you're playing tennis or badminton, it all works the same. Kettlebell covers so many areas of fitness. It's just incredible to me and I'm glad I was introduced to it, and I'm glad I learned it. So that's one way for me to get back. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll catch you next time on getting some more techniques in kettlebell lifting throughout this uh, 2019 year. You guys have a great year. Or remember, stay strong and have a great day.